So I received this comment weeks ago from Mr. Bujima. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. But according to him, PHP is more easier to use when it comes to handling APIs and stuff. Because with React, there's a lot of things needed to be done and he doesn't like it. Now, if you're going to ask me which one is the best, I would say my answer would be both of them are okay. Ish. Because both programming languages, JavaScript or React versus PHP, they both have their own strengths and weaknesses. If you're going to create Shopify apps with PHP, with core PHP, you have control over everything like functions, classes, variables, literally everything. In other words, you know exactly where it's what, what it does, and if you get an error, you know exactly where to go or how to fix them. But there's also a problem with PHP. Once your project started getting bigger and bigger, your project can become too cluttered and unorganized. Now, if you use React to create Shopify apps, just like PHP, you know exactly where your components are located, you know exactly where your functions are located. The problem is, if one of your modules or libraries start, started malfunctioning, you can't do anything about it. All you can do is just create stock overflow. Get it? Because you're stuck. Now, the question is, which programming language should you use? Should you use JavaScript or React? Or should you use PHP? Well, like what most developers will tell you, it depends. It depends where you're comfortable or it depends on what kind of project you're trying to build. Say what? It depends what kind of app I'm trying to build? Yes, because there are things that you can do in React, but you can't do in PHP. Now, hear me out. Let me ask you one question. Can you do Polaris in PHP? Unfortunately, you cannot. I mean, yeah, sure you can, but you'll have to write your own JavaScript to make your Polaris work. But if you use React, all you need to do is just to install the library, include the components in your project, and voila, you have your own user interface. Now, another thing that you can do in React, but you can do in PHP is GraphQL. I mean, I'm not sure if there are libraries out there in PHP that you can use just so, can, just so you can use GraphQL. But with React, all you need to do is just to install GraphQL, GraphQL tag, and you'll be able to use GraphQL. It's true that React can make you do a lot of things here and there, you know, like installing dependencies, libraries, modules, and all of that. But most of the time, it only happens in the beginning. That's because you're starting a new project. But once you have your dependencies ready, you're good to go. You're ready to create. So if you're going to ask me, which one am I going to use for Shopify app development? JavaScript or React or PHP? Well, why not both? PHP for API, React for user interface. I'm just kidding. I'll use React.